What's going on YouTube? You're chilling with Jaren Zabza. We have another Wi-Fi battle for you today. I'm gonna go with an RU battle. This is actually one I had a long, long time ago. So if some Pokemon moved around in the tiers, don't worry about it. This was all legal at the time. There's nothing to worry about. It's all good. So just to explain my team real quick, I've got a Offensive Steelix, a uh, Mixed Electros, although I don't know if you, I can even really call it Mixed. It's just got Knock Off and three special attacking moves. So I guess that's kind of mixed, but eh, I don't know. I'll leave it up to you guys to decide. A de physically defensive Alamomola, a setup Sceptile, not Mega Sceptile, but uh, Unburdened Sceptile, back when it was still, you know, like Mega Sceptile wasn't all the rage. I mean, it was still pretty popular, but it's not like it dominated it at not dominated it as the provisionary item. I don't even know if I said that right, but if anyone has better words for me, please tell me in the comments. A Special Defensive Gallade, and a Mega Sharpedo, which I'm actually quite proud of because of the Destiny Bond. It puts in a lot of work. And my opponent is using, I'm assuming, a Physically Defensive Cofagrigus. It's kind of hard to tell these days. Uh, a Registeel, which is no doubt some kind of defensive, especially physical, I don't know. A uh, Sharpedo, which I'm guessing is, is his Mega because that's the only thing on his team that can Mega. A uh, Jolteon, so I gotta figure out if it's Specs or Scarf. A Sock, which no doubt is like stur is sturdy uh, Scarf. They almost all are. And finally, an Exploud, which I have no idea what it's running. All I know is watch out for Boom Burst. <laughs> That's all I need to know. But anyway, let's get to the battle. Today's battle is against my buddy Hermesar, who was looking for a battle a while ago, and he we just uh, he was just talking about it in a Skype group, and I'm like, all right, yeah, I'll battle. Anyway, I'm going to start off with my Steelix to try and get up rocks. As he goes with Exploud, I'm guessing to predict this, and go. he goes for the Overheat. However, I predict the Fire-type move. I thought Fire Blast, but Overheat is good to see. So I'm going to switch into my Special Defensive Gallade, who takes it really well, especially considering it's Life Orb. And uh, I'm going to be able to threaten him out with a Drain Punch. However, I believe that I actually want to uh, double back into my uh, Electros, just so that way I can get off the Volt Switch, and maybe I can go back to, into Steelix. However, he goes into Kofic Regus, which actually gives me a good chance to go for a knockoff and get rid of its item. Because uh, Leftovers Kofic Regus, that passive recovery really does help it, considering his massive bulk, and I just want to get rid of that. I mean, the burn is totally worth it, because knockoff, while I do have Mix specifically, so knockoff will do some damage, it's not the main focus of the set, so I don't really mind uh, being burned. I just mind the residual a little bit. But I'm gonna Volt Switch out, go into my Sharpedo, who's able to go knock him out with the Crunch. I don't Mega because I don't, um, I, e either way, my ability is gonna be changed to Mummy, and I don't wanna keep that ability, so I'm not gonna bother Megaing, and I'm gonna go ahead and just knock him out. I mean, I probably could have protected and then Crunched and then Mega Evolved, but I knew that he still had this sock in the back with, uh, it probably it's Sturdy Intact. If he has Sturdy, I couldn't, I could not remember if he had Mole Breaker. I don't think he did. So I'm going to bring in my Gallade. I know I'm not going to live to, but the whole point was I bring it in, and then I go for a Shadow Sneak to break his Sturdy. So now, if I wanted to, I can bring in something that's faster and knock him out. The whole point was to get rid of Stock's stock, stock, Sturdy, just in case I wanted to set up with Sharpedo or Sceptile and knock him out. So that way, I you know, there's not something that will be like an immediate stop to my sweep. However, I'm going to bring in my El Mamolo, who can take the physical hits better, and he knows this, switches, he switches into his Jolteon, as I double out in my Steelix, knowing that the Electric-type move was pretty obvious. And he's going to pull back here. He doesn't go for, like, anything. I, I don't know if he has, like, something for Steelix or not. I'm not sure. I mean, he, I don't know if he's choiced yet, but I'm just going to go for the safe Gyro Ball, just in case he wants to bring in, like, his Sock or something. Uh, he chooses to bring in Registeel, but it, it doesn't really do anything. We just do a customary exchanging of the rocks, and I don't mind too much. This team isn't very weak to rocks, but uh, I noticed that we're doing that... At least he's doing a lot more switching than I am, so I figure rocks will be definitely beneficial. So I'm going to go for the Earthquake, and you know what? I don't know what possessed him to stay in. I mean, he's a Registeel, I'm a Steelix, I have to have Earthquake, and considering I'm offensive, that's a clean 2-hit KO. If I wasn't offensive, it might not have been a 2-hit KO, but since I'm offensive, yeah, 2-hit KO, it's just gone. I guess maybe he was trying to get the Freeze Hacks, or he was betting on me being either Mega Steelix or Physically Defensive Steelix. I'm, I, I'm not sure, Hermes, if you watch this video, please tell me what was going on in your mind uh, down in the comments. 
Anyway, he brings in the X-Cloud, and I predict him to predict the switch, so I'm gonna stay in and go for the uh, Earthquake. However, Boom Burst does a lot more than I expect it would, and I'm not gonna be able to take another hit, unfortunately. I thought I would I would take that better, but gee, just God, X-Cloud and Boom Burst really go hand in hand. Uh, and uh, thankfully, I'm able to not I'm able to get a double down here thanks to his Life Orb recoil. But still, ah, just Boom Burst! Wow. He brings in Sock as I bring in Electros, and I'm pretty sure I can still take a physical uh, close combat, and I would love to get off more damage on this Sock. So I'm going to go for the Volt Switch. He predicts this, goes into Jolteon, and here I've got a plan hatching in my brain. I'm thinking, okay, what if, I think if this thing is choiced, because I have a hunch it is, I think that I can just, if I fodder off my Electros, I can bring my Sceptile and set up. Now that I've got Socks sturdy broken, so I'm I'm thinking this is great. It has to be Sceptile though, though. It can't be Sharpedo because plus one Sharpedo probably won't live a uh, probably won't outspeed a Scarf Jolteon. But I'm pretty sure a unburdened Sceptile will. But anyway, I finally get uh, I finally managed to fodder off my Electros, so I'm like, all right, now I gotta do it. Now's the time. I send in Sceptile. I'm gonna go for the Leaf Storm. I don't know what possessed him to do this, but he switches out into his Sharpedo. I have no idea why. <laughs> I mean, maybe if he was Sash, but I uh, I have no idea why. I guess he just needed it as fodder, or if he wanted to keep his Jolteon because it was Scarfed. That's probably it. He probably wanted to keep his Jolteon because it was Scarfed. And I was, and maybe he, uh, for a chance to outspeed, but no, I'm going for Leaf Storm. I see his HP, Sox HP. I go for another Leaf Storm. I'm at half attack, but at the amount of HP Jolteon's at, I I feel very confident that a Giga Drain will be able to knock him out. Yeah, definitely. I, even after rocks, Giga Drain is definitely going to knock him out. So I managed to pull off the not really sweep, but mini sweep with Sceptile, and I am really happy. So GG Hermosaur, that was awesome. Um, talk of the day. Uh, I guess let's go ahead and talk about sweep, uh, sweeping Pokemon or setup sweepers. Um, I always I always figure that sweepers can be used in two ways. I figure that they can be used as a mon to put a huge dent in a team, or as a, uh, as people call it, cleanup sweeper. So I've never really, um, I've never really, what's the word I'm looking for? I've never really condemned someone for setting up early on a sweep if that's what the mon was intended to do. However, they're, they're like different characteristics, I guess you could say. A, uh, clean up, a cleanup sweeper? What did I call it? I think that's what I called it, it but yeah, a, a cleanup sweeper, um, it doesn't really have to have a lot of bulk, it could be just like frail as paper, but the whole point is, it's just going to one-shot the rest of his team. However, if you just want a Mon that'll put a huge dent in it, I think it needs to have some significant bulk, and along with some good attack. So it needs to be able to take one or two hits, and it could still like tear through a team, or it could just like deal some massive damage to a team. As long as it does the damage and survives a couple hits, I think it's accomplished its job. Anyway, that's just my opinion on uh, setup sweepers. Uh, tell me what your guys' opinion is down in the comments below. And Hermes, if you watch this, um, good game, man. Really good game. So I hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you all next time. Bye.